Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about managing your Cisco router and backing up your configuration file. You can see I'm using Packet Tracer here um, and I've changed the configuration of the network here. We've got a router. Um, the router's IP address on its Ethernet interface is 192.168.1.1. I've got a PC here that's consoled into the router. I've also got Telnet abilities with um, this PC to get into the router. And um, I've got a switch here and also I have a server. So I've put a server on 192.168.1.254 and the server is running TFTP. Um, TFTP. It is a TFTP server. It is running that program and so as a, having a TFTP server on this server what we can do is we can back up our configuration file from the router to the TFTP server. A little uh, just about TFTP, um, it runs on uh, port 69, uses the UDP protocol. Um, basically when you run a TFTP server you want to check which folder or directory are the files going to be located so where you can um, back your files up to. And you also want to make sure that you have your firewall, you check your firewall, make sure that the ports are open on port 69 so that you can talk to your TFTP server. Now, once again, this is a virtual environment using Packet Tracer, so I can click on this server and I can go to config and I can go to TFTP and you can see that you just simply turn it on or off and then here are some bin files in here and these are the IOS's, the Cisco operating systems for a bunch of different devices just sitting here in the directory that holds the TFTP um, that TFTP server points to, right? Now, in, in reality, if you wanted to back up your back configuration file or your, your iOS, your operating system, to a TFTP server, all you would have to do is basically run a TFTP server on some computer. So I have uh, SolarWinds here that I'm about to install. Uh, SolarWinds TFTP server, and I'm just going to install it right here just to show you how it works. So I'll just click Next, and I'll accept the license agreement and hit next and I'm just gonna hit the defaults here and notice um, let's see let's get it running we'll run the install so this is a free TFTP server that you can download from the SolarWinds website okay so it's installed um, I'll hit finish Okay, and now I can run the server. So you'll see here just to show you a little bit about how it works. Okay, here's the server. Just open this up a little bit more. Okay, so here's the SolarWinds server. We'll say file configure. We'll take a look at it. Very simply, you can start and stop it here. Right now it's stopped. Um, it's got a tray icon in the system tray which is off screen right now you can't see that and then storage you can see that everything is stored here in the um, C directory in a folder called TFTP dash root right so we can browse to that folder right and we could check that folder out but basically it doesn't have anything in it um, server bindings uh, what IP addresses is it going to bind to right all IP addresses are just a single IP address because it's a server it's going to be listening on certain IP addresses and um, transfer types send and receive files or you could just send or just receive and you can put some IP address restrictions here so it's actually pretty simple right and um, and that's it okay so just a very um, simple protocol Okay, so you can see here that I've started the TFTP server just on this computer. And so now what I could do is I can open a command prompt and I will run a netstat -a for all and then p and then I'll look for UDP ports and I will find if we're listening on port 69. All right, and let's see here. And sure enough, you can see here, we picked up the 69 here and the 69 over here, but we're listening on 0000, right? So we're listening on all IP addresses here 
for um, port 69 so the TFTP server has started. So anyway that's how you would run a TFTP server let's say on your local computer so that your um, actual physical router could um, you could uh, back up your configuration file or your iOS to an actual TFTP server. But I'll stop that and now what we'll do is we'll just run this virtually. I'll shut this down and we'll bring up Packet Tracer and we'll run this and we will um, do this virtually through Packet Tracer. Okay, so let's console into our router. So I'll open up this PC, let's say, and I'll get a terminal connection. Since I have a console connection, I'll click OK. And now I have a console connection. I'll put in my password, and then I'll type enable to get to privileged mode. I'll put in the password again. Now I'm in privileged mode. And what I can do is I can say copy, right? And I'll say copy startup dash config space tftp and I'll hit enter and it'll ask me for the address of the remote host well I know that my tftp server is sitting here at 1.254 so I'll just type that in there 192.168.1.254 hit enter and the destination file name it says r1 dash config that sounds fine, so I'll just hit enter, and there it goes. It's writing the startup configuration file. It gives me a message that it worked, and so now what I can do is I can just open up this little server here, and we can see if it's in there, right? So we'll just take a look here. We'll go off screen and then back to the screen, and we'll see if it shows up in here. And there it is at the bottom. R1-config has been copied to the TFTP server. And so what I did was is I copied the startup config file from my router after, through a console connection through this PC, consoled into the router, and then copied the configuration file from the router to the TFTP server. And that's what we see right here. Let's try to copy our iOS, our operating system over there too, and back up our operating system over to the TFTP server also. So what I'm going to do is I'll do a show version. And in the show version um, command, the show command, you can see here that this is the name of the operating system file, right? pt1000-i-mz.122-28.bin. It's a bin file. And it's in flash memory. So let's see if we could see if we can get that going. So I'll say copy. I'm going to say flash to TFTP. Copy flash memory to TFTP. Say enter, and it'll ask me for the source file name. So I'll say file name pt1000 i mz.122. Whoops. Dash twenty eight dot bin. Okay, address of remote host. All right, hit enter. And do I want the same name for the file? Just to make sure that there's already a file probably with this name in there. So I'm going to change the name. So I'll say Dan's PT one thousand dot bin. All right. Dan's PT1000 dot bin. And hit enter. And there it goes. It's copying. Notice the exclamation points. Looks like it worked. Now let's go over to the server and see if it worked. So we go over to the server. Click here to open. We'll look down here at the bottom. And there it is. Dan's PT1000 dot bin. So we backed up the um, iOS, the operating system, the Cisco operating system, to the TFTP server virtually using Packet Tracer, which would be the same exact commands, basically, if we were doing it on an actual router.